Buildings go up so quickly these days due to prefabrication methods that vast structures can be erected in almost the time it takes to pull them down. However, this was not the superstructure of a building, but the wreck of a 290-foot radio mast, felled by GPO engineers so that they can be replaced by more attractive ones that will blend more easily with the countryside. In fact, as you can now see, our story is not about putting things up, but pulling them down. These massive steel masts, there were 27 of them altogether, each weighed 30 tons. And short of using dynamite, it was found the simplest method of dismantling them was to physically pull them over, having, of course, first removed a few nuts and bolts. The masts were situated at the GPO radio receiving station near Yeovil in Somerset, which is used for overseas telegraph communications, and the main purpose of which is to receive radio telegraph traffic from different parts of the world. Because of the considerable expense involved in the future maintenance of these monsters, in addition to other equipment at the station, it was decided to replace them with a more modern system. The tractor, by the way, is used merely as an anchor for the steel cable, which will pull the masts off balance. A pulling force of approximately two tons is required to instigate the movement, and there she goes. Mind your heads. In the space of a few minutes, the second mast is ready to go. To show how precisely the operation is planned, markers are placed on the spot where it is estimated the top of the mast will fall. The first was actually struck, and the second, as you can see, landed within eight inches. Still, as one famous postman used to say, what does it matter what you do so long as you tear them up? <laughs> <laughs> 